Hey Gretna students, I'm Jennifer and I'm the children's librarian at the Gretna Public Library. I wanted to tell you all about our summer learning program, but I still can't come visit. So I decided to make a video for you instead. Pay attention because later on I'm going to have a guest that you are not going to want to miss. This summer we're celebrating tales and tales. That's tales like you would see on a monkey and tales like you would read in a book. I know that many of you are animal lovers, so I've pulled out some mind-blowing facts from some of my very favorite animal books. And I'm going to start with one that is pretty crazy. Are you ready? Wombat poop is shaped like cubes. Isn't that bonkers? Just imagine every time you had to go number two, you pooped out dice. That would really change your life, wouldn't it? I got that fun fact from What Do They Do With All That Poop by Jane Kurtz and Allison Black. Poop talk aside, we are excited about all the things that are going on at the library this summer. Everybody's invited to participate in our reading program and you don't have to have a library card. Just sign up online, track your reading, and then you get to earn prizes from businesses around town. I've heard rumors this year about pizza and sunglasses and suckers and even money. And then at the end of the summer, if you have been reading that whole time, you get to pick out two prize books to keep. All right, are you ready for your next fact? Here it is. The tongue of an anteater is two feet long. That's like the length of your teacher's arm. Hey teacher, stick out your arm so your kids can see how long two feet is. Don't worry, it's fine, I'll wait. Do 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 It's pretty wild, isn't it? That fact came from Actual Size by Steve Jenkins. We want everybody to read in the reading program this summer, but we have some awesome events coming up as well. If you like to talk about reading and books with other people, then we have book clubs that you can join. We have a family book club for everybody in your family, but third, fourth, and fifth graders, we have a book club that is specially made for you guys as well. If you like to make and do stuff, we'll have kits that you can pick up. Each kit will have a craft and a recipe and uh, different activities, a list of books, all sorts of things. Every week there'll be a different one that you can try out. Okay, it's time for our next fact. <sighs> All right. Ugh. Great white sharks can smell blood from three miles away. Three miles! That makes me really glad that Nebraska is more than three miles away from the ocean. Ugh. I learned that fact that terrifying fact from Totally Wacky Facts About Sea Animals by Carrie Meister. The last thing I want to do today is to tell you about all the great people we've invited to do some fantastic virtual shows for us this summer. The zoo is joining us, as is the Omaha Children's Museum. Uh, if space is more your thing, we have a NASA representative coming to tell us about their plan to take us back to the moon, which is really cool. And of course, Wildlife Encounters will be here to do our kickoff on May 28th. And in fact, I invited Kip here today to introduce us to one of his animal friends and to give us our last fantastic fact. Awesome. Hi, Kip. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? <laughs> Not too bad. I see you brought us a friend today. I did. This is my friend Boomer. He is a red kangaroo. So, of course, he doesn't look red right now, but as he gets older, he's a joey right now. As he gets older, he'll start to develop more of that red color. Uh, he's pretty small right now, but we'll see about six feet tall, 200 pounds for this guy when he's full size. Wow. That's <laughs> awesome. Let's see, six feet, that's probably about, about how high you are, right? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I'm a, I think I'm a little under, but yeah. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> did you bring us another animal too? I did, yes. Okay, awesome. <laughs> and who is this? Uh, this is Cyrano. He is a green wing macaw. Ooh, very good. Hi, Cyrano. <laughs> you know, his favorite thing to do is to wave. You want to wave, bud? <laughs> and he can talk for us as well. He's chewing on something right now. We can see if we can get him to talk. Do you want to say hi? Hi, Cyrano. Hi. 
<laughs> he may just want to wave. <laughs> He's very but, polite. He doesn't talk with his mouth open. He doesn't. No, he doesn't. Yeah. Oh, there's something there. But yeah, he's a green wing macaw. Long lifespan for these guys. About 60 to 70 years. Uh, these are the second largest macaw in the world as well. Oh. <laughs> so this is Cyrano's favorite song. <laughs> this is from the movie The Sandlot, if you remember, in the Pee Wee Herman show. Do you want to dance, bud? <laughs> Thanks for coming, Kip. You know, we have a lot of books about birds and marsupials like um, like Boomer. So make sure to check those books out at the library this summer. Okay. Yeah, thank you guys. We'll see you guys this summer. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Want to say bye, Cyrano? Bye. <laughs> Okay, I know that I threw a lot of info at you guys, but you don't have to remember it all. Your grown-ups can go online to our website where they can get all of the details and they can sign you up for the reading program as well. They can even watch this video if they want to. I hope that you guys enjoyed all of those wild facts and getting to meet Boomer and Cyrano as well. They were really cool. All right, thanks for watching guys. I hope that I will see all of you this summer.